What's going on guys? Welcome to the newest episode of Nerds Marais. Today guys, we're going to be continuing our episodic journey into the world of Game of Thrones. Today guys, we are going to begin season number two, episode number one, The North Remembers. So guys, let's get right into it. So we start off with Joffrey and it's his name day and he's enjoying the festivities by watching these two fools kill each other and it turns out the hound just brutally murders another knight. Poor little bastard. It was the fucking hound. He's huge. The next fighter shows up and he is drunk as hell. So Joffrey says, you need some more wine, sir. And he freaking forces him to chug a barrel of wine right there. And they're shoving this shit down his throat. So his life is saved by Sansa. Now this happens because Sansa actually tells him, make him your new fool of your court and don't actually kill him. So Joffrey agrees, saves his life. And yeah, he's the new fool. Tyrion shows up, tells Joffrey, you know what? Screw it, walks up, drinks some of Joffrey's wine, walks the fuck off, Joffrey's standing there like, what the fuck are you doing here? Fucking Joffrey, you pussy. Tyrion walks into the King's Council meeting with his sister and the rest of the council there and gives them the paper saying, Tywin has appointed me as freaking hand to the king. Bitch, bow down, don't trip. And she is pissed. Everyone's like, what the fuck, really? Yep, baby, Tyrion is in charge. I love it because Tyrion rubs it in his sister's face so well and it's just so great. Then we see Bran actually standing up for his brother in Winterfell. Then we actually see Asha and Hodor kind of take him out. And they go investigate the area where Bran keeps having this dream where he dreams that he's like a wolf. And he, they go to the area where he dreams he's at. Now there's a cool looking comet flying through the sky and Asha tells him that the comet means something. It means that dragons have returned. Damn, she's right. He's trying to back. Then we flash to the mother of dragons herself, Daenerys Targaryen, wandering the desert. People are dying. They're thirsty. So she sends out a bunch of scouts in different directions to find somewhere for her horde to go. Even though the horde's little as hell, she wants somewhere for them to go so they don't die. We go to the guys of the night's watch, and they are over the wall beyond it. And they are going through and noticing that all the wildling camps are kind of like abandoned and no one's there. They're all deserted. And then they get to this guy who usually helps him out. He's a nasty motherfucker who has children. Whenever he has a boy, we don't know what happens. And then whenever he has a girl, he fucks them and has more kids. Um, yeah, what the fuck is wrong with people? Holy shit. So they are having their little sit down with this nasty bastard and he tells them everyone's not allowed to like look at his damn daughters, his wives. Ugh. And John like looks at him kind of weird and he's like, especially that motherfucker, like he points John out because John's a pretty looking fool. So you keep that motherfucker away from all my wives. Ugh. He also warns them that there is an army of wildlings that is larger than the king's forces. So that's fucking scary. Then we see Melisandre standing on a beach with a bunch of burning totems on this beach, and it's pretty, like, beautifully laid out scene. Then Tannis Baratheon is called up by her to pull a flaming sword out of one of these wooden statues that's on fire. And the sword catches and it holds on fire. Then they all hail him as the new and true king, and I'm excited. I, I'm, ex I'm stoked to see Stannis. I, I want to see if he really kicks some ass to take his throne, because he's the rightful king, technically. Joffrey's not uh, Now, one of the old men is actually kind of protesting this and saying that burning of these is kind of like a sacrament to like the new gods, and he's completely against it. This guy would actually go on to try to poison Melisandre, and yeah, he would actually drink the poison himself. She drank that shit too, but she just kicks it like a thug. It doesn't even phase her. Rob goes on to talk to the bitch-ass Jamie Lannister and brings his wolf and punks that little bitch like nothing. Fuck, I hate Jamie Lannister, Rob. You're my fucking hero, man. Tyrion and Shay have a little chat about how weird the capital smells compared to everywhere else, and it's kind of funny. So then Littlefinger kind of tries to stand up to the queen, tries to stand up to Cersei Lannister, and kind of tries to flex some power, saying, you know what, knowledge is power. And she just like tells the guards to fucking kill him. And she's all, power's power, bitch. And I'm like, oh, Cersei's. I, I hate Littlefinger, but damn, that was like thug life moment for Cersei Lannister. 
and she just walks away. So the King of the North, Rob, catches one of the Lannister scouts, and everyone wants him to just butcher this fool and kill him right there. He says, no, I want you to go with the message. Go to Tywin Lannister and tell him I'm coming, bitch. He tells him that no Lannister and Joffrey are not welcome and may never step foot on his land again. If these demands are not met, then you guys are gonna pay. So Theon goes to Rob and tells him, you know what, we could take King's Landing, they're gonna reject your shit, we're gonna take King's Landing, let me go to my father myself and we'll get his 200 ships to join us to help take King's Landing. It's a different time, he will listen to me, his only son, I'm gonna go get my father's help. Catelyn would tell Rob and remind him that Balin Greyjoy is someone that his father went to war against. And Rob's like, it's a different fucking time. His son, we're going to return his son. He's going to go home and he's going to help him and convince him. Joffrey is having the throne room remodeled in his way that he wants it. And he tells his mother he admires the Targaryens because they were conquerors. They knew what they were fucking doing. Then mommy and him get into an argument and she slaps the shit out of him. Fuck yeah, Cersei, I hate your ass, but slap the shit out of him. Then they talk about all of Robert's bastards. Now, then we also see Roz, and it looks like she's like the bottom bitch of the whorehouse, and she's showing Shay around the whorehouse, which is pretty dope. And it looks like she's like the big badass in charge now, when little fingers away. So they start going around and murdering all the bastards, taking the kids, killing them. Then they say, the blacksmith kid went to the north, went to the wall, and they said, okay, well, how are we going to know what he looks like? He said, he made a custom bullheaded helmet. You'll find his ass. Then we see young Arya and him, and then boom, fade to black. So guys, this episode was freaking awesome. It was so much fun getting back into this world with season two. I'm so pumped for this. So many cool things are happening. I, I, Melisandre is like the craziest character I'm seeing so far at this point. But guys, I want to know your thoughts on this episode. Let me know down in the comments down below. What do you guys think about my recap and review for this episode as well? And make sure you guys go back and check out the playlist where you can check out all of Season 1. And I'll leave it linked at the end of this video and in the description down below. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with all the videos we put out every week. And I will be continuing this all the way till Season 8 next year, guys. So make sure you stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel to keep up. And I will see you next time. All right, guys. Peace out.